Welcome back, everyone. It's me, Jack, live for the Bucky House. And on today's show, we're brainstorming classic combos. No, 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 not locker combos. <laughs> I don't mean locker combinations when I say classic combos, although for me, a classic combo back when I was in middle school was 19 4 27. Those were, that was my classic locker combination. I think in the seventh grade, maybe? How do I still remember that? Well, luckily, I don't have to think about my locker combo anymore because we've got a brand new classic combo and someone to present it. Let's go to Mississippi and meet our next classic combiner. Give it up, me monkey knots, for Izzy. Hello, Izzy. How are you? Good. Great. Welcome to the monkey house, and thank you for your advice here. This is like an advice column. We want your advice. What are two things that each on their own is good, but together are perfect? What do you think, Izzy? Um, so I think it is syrup and bacon. Ah, yes. You're talking about breakfast perfection here. It's the classic combination when the syrup rolls off your pancakes or waffles, and it starts just sort of oozing very slowly into the bacon zone on your plate, and there's something that happens there when bacon touches syrup. How would you describe that experience of eating syrup-covered bacon, Izzy? Sweet. savory notes from the bacon, right? Like it's salty and meaty, but then you've got that sweetness mixed in too. It's, it's crispy, it's soft, it's sticky. Oh man, so many different uh, flavor profiles and mouth feels. Um, do you like bacon by itself or only with syrup, Izzy? I like it both ways. You do? Okay. And do you prefer bacon with syrup? like a, a feature of classic combos that we've discovered on today's show. Classic combos are sometimes things that only happen accidentally every now and then. You know, like if you had syrup and bacon every day, eventually they would just be like, yeah, that's just how I have it. Syrup and bacon, just another Tuesday. Blah, blah, blah. But if it's a special thing, like, you know, there's an explosion in the syrup aisle in your kitchen and the syrup blows all over the kitchen, it gets all over your bacon, and that only happens like once every, you know, few months. That's like a really special thing, isn't it? Yes. Are you are you having a lot of syrup explosions at your house, Izzy? Yes. You, what, you are? No, oh, no. <laughs> we might need to call in some geologists, like those people studying the Icelandic volcano. We might need to look into this. <laughs> oh, no. Is, is it an open caldera full of syrup in your kitchen? Does it look like a volcano that's just spewing out hot syrup? It's really just exploding. Oh, man. Okay, well, listen, uh, the Sirius XM attorneys, Izzy, want to make sure that whenever you walk in your kitchen, you're wearing full protective gear. So let's go through the list. you got to wear leather gloves. Do you have those? Yes. Okay, you got to wear uh, goggles. Any kind of goggles will work. Swimming goggles, ski goggles, welding goggles, if you have those. Do you have some kind of goggles? Yes. Okay, good, excellent. Then you have to wrap your entire torso with saran wrap, you know, like clear plastic wrap. you got to go around like five or six times like you're a clear mummy. Do you have that? Yes, lots of it. Okay, good. So you just want to cover yourself with that. This is every time you walk in the kitchen, by the way, because you never know when this kind of thing might happen. And then lastly, uh, instead of grabbing things with your leather uh, gloved hands, you got to use tongs, salad tongs, one in each hand. So you look sort of like a... I don't know, like a lobster walking around the kitchen. You got your goggles on. You got a shiny uh, uh, abdomen midsection, thorax, I think it's called when you're a lobster. And you got those salad tongs. Do you have two pairs of salad tongs, Izzy? Yes. Okay, great. Excellent. Well, then I think you're safe to go. Um, and if you decide that you want to, I don't know, just wear all red underneath the saran wrap, uh, you know, and use uh, red face paint so you really look like a cooked lobster, uh, that can only help, too. If nothing else, it'll just make for great pictures to show uh, later on when you get married. Audience, give it up for Izzy in Mississippi, who has discovered the syrup and bacon perfection.